For this early part of the 2022 college football season, there's already been a lot of players that are breaking out and having some career years. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some college football players that are having some underrated seasons as of right now that I feel like need to get more notoriety on their name for their play they've had thus far. Before I move on, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. The first player that I'm going to be taking a look at today is UCLA quarterback Dorian Thompson Robinson. DTR has been someone, in my opinion, who's been quite underrated for the most part of his career at UCLA. Every year, he's always been constantly improving his game and has consistently become a better quarterback year in and year out. To start off the first five games of the 2022 college football season, UCLA is 5-0 and a top 25 team in the AP poll. Dorian thompson Robinson's also playing the best football, it seems like, of his career up to this point. In the first five games played, he's completed 74% of his passes, a career high. Has thrown for 1,211 yards, 11 touchdowns compared to only one interception. He's also accounted for 223 total yards on the ground, averaging 7 yards per carry and a total of 3 rushing touchdowns. When looking at his statistics as a whole compared to all the other quarterbacks in college football, he has a good amount of passing yards, a good amount of passing touchdowns, is near the top 10 with interceptions, and has some of the highest QBR in passing efficiency in the entire NCAA. It'll be interesting to see how the rest of the 22 campaign ends up for DTR and the UCLA Bruins, as they are a team that could surprise a lot of people in the Pac-12, especially with a quarterback like DTR at the helms, who has a lot of playing experience and is a quarterback that doesn't regress and only seems to get better as time goes on. Sticking with the quarterback position, for this next player, we're going to be taking a look at the SEC Conference. A quarterback from Mississippi State, Will Rogers. Will Rogers is one of those quarterbacks that honestly should probably be getting more recognition on his name. He's coming off a strong 21 season in which people did give him some praise because the guy was consistent and he put up some big numbers. As last season in 2021, completed 74% of his passes, threw for over 4,700 yards, 36 touchdown passes to the air, compared to only 9 interceptions, which isn't necessarily the best, but in 13 games played, it's not the worst either, especially in a heavy air raid system. To start off 2022, Mississippi State is 4-1, and, and they're ranked inside the top 25. Will Rogers is off to a fast start, five games in, completing 73% of his passes, throwing for 1,715 yards, 19 touchdown passes through the air, compared to only three interceptions. When comparing Will Rogers to the other quarterbacks on the FBS level, he is third in passing yards through five games, he's tied in first with 19 touchdowns, and he only has three interceptions, which is still pretty good through five games. I'm not saying he's going to win the Heisman or anything like that this season, but Will Rogers is a quarterback that deserves more recognition on his name. He's putting up some insane numbers, and Mississippi State is actually a top 25 team as of the recording of this video in the AP poll. And with all that being said, he should be getting more recognition, some more coverage about how he's been playing, because they're making it seem like he's very underrated right now, in my opinion, as there's other quarterbacks out there that don't have as good of a record as Mississippi State and aren't putting up the numbers that Will Rogers is putting up right now. you got to give credit when credit is due, and Will Rogers is playing some great ball. Switching over to the defensive side of the ball for this next player, I'm going to be taking a look at Cincinnati Bearcats linebacker Ivan Pace Jr., this is Pace Jr.'s first season at Cincinnati, as for the past few years he's been a player for Miami, Ohio, and he really broke out in the 21 campaign, recording 125 tackles, 13 tackles for loss, 4 sacks, and 1 forced fumble, really being one of the best linebackers in the MAC conference. Transferring to Cincinnati in 2022, in the first 5 games for the 22 campaign of his, he's really off to a fast start. And when I mean fast, I mean fast. He's playing like one of the best linebackers in the nation. 55 total tackles, 12 and a half tackles for loss, 5 sacks, 1 pass deflection, and 1 forced fumble through 5 games played. 
He's already one of the leaders in total tackles, tackles for loss, and has a great number of sacks in just five games played with five as a linebacker. On a good defense, mind that. A lot of people, they're going after the ball. And he's one of the best players on that Cincinnati defense. And he's really making a name for himself even more, coming off a strong 21 campaign and starting off this fast in 2022. He's playing at an All-American-like level, and you need to get to know the name Ivan Pace Jr. With this next player, I'm going to be taking a look at cornerback from Kansas, Kobe Bryant. Bryant's a player who really made a name for himself for the Jayhawks in 2021, in which in eight games played he had 22 total tackles, one tackle for loss, and two interceptions, including one that was a pick six. To start off this 22 season, Kobe Bryant's off to a fast start, along with the Kansas Jayhawks football team, which is 5-0, and for the first time since 2009, and in a ranked team in the AP poll. Top 20, mind that. And Kobe Bryant's been one of the best defensive players on their team in that secondary. In five games played, he has 17 total tackles, two interceptions, including one pick six, which was versus West Virginia in overtime, and two pass deflections. He's off to a great start, and is seen as one of the better cornerbacks in the Big 12, and if he keeps up this play, the future is definitely bright for not only him, but that Jayhawk defense. With this final player for today's video, it's someone who may just be one of the most underrated players in all of college football right now, and that's Purdue wide receiver Charlie Jones. Jones, before playing at Purdue for this 22 season, played at both Iowa and Buffalo for his college football career, in which at both schools, he was a solid receiver and a very good special teams player. But let's talk about Charlie Jones and his underrated season thus far for the Purdue Boilermakers. Five games into the 2022 campaign, 47 receptions, 588 receiving yards, averaging 12.5 yards per reception, and 7 total touchdowns through the air. When you hear about some of the top wide receivers in college football right now, Charlie Jones probably isn't even in the conversation to most people. But what if I told you that Charlie Jones is top 5 in two big categories for wide receivers, and that's not only receiving yards, but it's also receiving touchdowns. He's in top five for both categories with 588 receiving yards and seven receiving touchdowns. This is already Jones' breakout season, but he's far from over, as he still has seven games left in the regular season, and it really seems like at this pace he's going to break over 1,000 yards and 10-plus receiving touchdowns. And if you want to keep an eye on a very underrated receiver, potentially for the 2023 NFL Draft, look no further than Charlie Jones from Purdue. Well guys, you've made this far in today's video. Drop something down in the comment section below. Who else do you think is an underrated player for this 2022 season that I did not name in the video? Also, before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Kelly, out. <laughs>